Hello, my dear friends. So let's see what, what we can do in this video. Maybe something bigger, something... Let's see. So it's already Saturday afternoon. I can show you what I've already done. Oh, a little sketch. This was yesterday, yeah. And then I was drawing this part here on this it's for an upcoming tutorial about new objects and how to make a color idea a color concept about such kind of drawing but today i want to show you something else this one more light more light please okay Let's do big objects, big, bigger buildings with uh, harsh and, and, and strong uh, contrasts with big black arrows, but also very fine lines. Hey, this is our big piece of paper. Let, let's, let me introduce it. You see, Guardigo Artistico Aquarello, 50 by 64 centimeters, 250 grams, so not 300, it's 250 grams. But for an experiment, it's, it's fine. And I show you something else. Here I have the same paper, so it's it holds the, the color and the, 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 the water quite nice. It's even flat after this drawing. And we, in, in, in our today's video, we don't do it in these little small details. We, we more look at these bigger objects and, and, and buildings and towers. And I'm very excited. I have no idea what what we will get, what we will see. The tools we we will use. What do we have here? Ah, 0 point, 0 point 2, a pigment liner, so it's waterproof. Ah, okay, rubber. 0 point 0.3, 0 point 0.1, and fountain pen. Also filled up with waterproof ink. Very important in this case because I want uh, waterproofing, and then we have one of these Pentel brush pens. You see, Pentel brush pens. In other videos, I used the red one, but it's ah, oh, it's here. This is a Coveco. It's a little bit. Oh, we need a pencil as well. Uh, this one. They work pretty much uh, nice and the same. This is from Pentel, this is from Creaco, and but this one you can use with with an uh, you can refill this um, this uh, cartridges. Uh, so I filled this uh, with um, with this tool here. You know, this is not sharp. It's okay. It's, uh, you can buy it on Amazon for refilling your ink cartridges. And so the fountain pens, all my fountain pens, and, and this brush pen is filled with the sketch ink because this is waterproof and usable for fountain pens that the fountain pens don't dry up or clunk or you will destroy it with a normal waterproof ink. So never use normal waterproof ink uh, for your fountain pens. So, okay, these are the tools. And of course, for the bigger, oops, for the larger gray or black arrows, we take some aquarelle, but only lunar black. This is Luna Black from Daniel Smith, but I also use uh, Schminke as well, or Winston and Newton. 
And here I, I have another older black, but no idea from which brand this one is. So, and I'm dirty. I haven't done, not the line, but still dirty. Okay. And we need water. Okay, I didn't prepare anything, just a small rough idea so what uh, we can do but what i want to start is with with a baseline a basic not instinct a basic line here you uh, can only guess okay yeah wait let's here here is the Okay, let's guess how parallel I can do this without measuring. Yeah, and there are no marks, of course, the whole paper. So yeah, there are no marks. And I can do it this two times, but let's guess how even, how near do you think? I think that's okay. Oh no. Let's do it. So this is no challenge. But of course I want to know if I'm right or wrong. 8.4 not 5, 4 and a half. 8, 4 and a half. 8 Three and a half. Okay, one millimeter. That's okay for this length. And we start with the baseline, like I mentioned before. So we start with uh, 0 0.2. Here I leave a gap because there is, will be a lantern or a fence or something like this. So I, I leave some gaps so that we can add a little bit of a little bit of depth of depth 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 yes and but no no perspective in this case. older video I showed you how you can train to to draw straight lines okay and now I want to erase these pencil works between these gaps or in these gaps so you see this pigment liner are immediately dry yeah, and that's our basic line and then I have come on yeah 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 okay it always could be a good idea when you start with a well-known object in my case it's always or 90 99 percent of all my drawings I start in the left button corner, I start with a street lamp or a tree. And while drawing this, I can imagine what will be here. And in this case, because we want to make bigger objects, bigger things, so not so small and detailed. Well, I have no idea if this works. Because and most of my drawings, they are living from the details. They are nice because of the details. Okay. Ah, let's do some guiding lines so that they are not angled. Oh, yep. I want to have them straight. One more time, this crazy game. 
right here, I'll start here. Let me show 8.3, 8.3. Well done, Mr. Lachmeyer. Maybe I should, no, okay, no. I told you I do it with this pigment liner so I don't change to the tip pens because the last video I showed you uh, my work with the tip pens. Okay, let's start. Come on, first line. Now, maybe here I start with a tree. I start here with a tree. Now I change to an 0.2 because the line of the 0.5 is much too thick so that we get a good contrast to the really large or black arrows. Let me zoom in a little bit. When drawing a tree, this is, in this case, imagine only such segments and these segments you put together in different angles and when they grow up they get thinner and thinner and between these segments then we have the, the leaves and then at the bottom of every of these crowns we have the shadow because normally the light is from above so under the crown there is the shadow. Let's see how it works with this with the shadow parts. So here on the left side the shadow and also a part of the this here and the things here. See, this is the idea behind this, that we have these big shadows here. And then some gray tones with the, with the watercolor. Ah, let's, let's take a tip pen so we can make here a wonderful, nice... Therefore, I take waterproof ink. I hope that's waterproof. And one of our nips I tested in the last video. This one was a very good one. This is a medium soft. No, this is a medium. This is a medium, I think. This is this one. That's the Citofine medium soft. So not extreme soft, medium soft, but good for my uh, splashes. Let's see in this direction, put it in the paper and patch. And then you bend, you bend this nip a little bit and then you lift up and then push. And of course you need enough ink at the nip. Okay, so, and now I want to use the nib, uh, the, the ink for the shading. But only underneath. Okay, what I don't mention, you should uh, erase these pencil lines because when there is um, color above it, you can't remove them. Okay, let's take this part here. And I take a kiss here. And lift the ink a little bit of so the ink lift it up 
Okay. And what's now very important to mention, important is, is, is to have these white arrows, to have white dark grays, yeah, and not not an even an even anything, yeah. It should be very diverse. Okay. This tree is nice. I like it. And now we will take this um, watercolor and mix some gray. And there we do the this trunk. No, the wrong the wrong pencil. I like this travel pro yeah. I like it, but they are not here. Travel pencils. Wait. Here we go. Travel pencils. So there is a yeah this one. This is from the red set. This is the green set from Escoda. Travel set and this is from the red set, so I have a mix. Uh, one brush, the the biggest one, number 18 I think, is from the green set, as you see here. Then I use the from the red set this one because I don't need the flat one. Yeah, and this is a similar with a little bit of shorter hair as well. This is a number six and the number eight as well from the red. Obviously, why I use the green one. Okay, let's do some art. No art isn't important. Let's do some drawing and have fun with it. So, and here we go. And as you see, this this uh, lunar black is more on the cold cold side. It's not a warm black. It's more a colder black. So I have a difference to the more warmer. Uh, ink black. Nice, nice tree. Okay, thank you for watching. No, not of course. I, we have to do a little bit more. A little bit more. After this first 12 minutes uh, recording, of course, I will edit it. Um, let's do a fence, quick and dirty. Number five is jumping in my hand, but I won't, yeah. It's number two. And here we do a little bit of perspective. So that goes further in the distance, in the background. So they get smaller and closer perspective class first class so and then we have here it's just some finger practice here i use the the brush pen to have a precise shadow and then all these fences have a little the weird the wire here and I think I can erase ah, yeah. this a pencil line and another one another tree here So you see this is a combination about black ink parts, then here the uh, shading with uh, lines and then a shading with this um, gray and as well the gray from the aquarel watercolor um, color, watercolor color.
Okay, nice. Of course, you can do the, this as well with a fountain pen of your choice. It's up to you. What do you what do you use? But when you use a fountain pen uh, and you want to have this uh, line, uh, darkness and fine line effect, you should use uh, all my fountain pens are all my fountain pens are with an extra fine um, nib and you know what you can most the most fountain pens you can order uh, with medium fine and extra fine nibs sadly in the uh, art uh, supply store you only get medium or fine i didn't have an art supply shop uh, in my era where i could buy them with extra fine nib so i have to order them online Okay, then here just a small little shading. Let's see here. And you see this ink is waterproof. And not like in the last video where I show that the last two videos I uploaded on YouTube, there I showed you the working with solar blink mm -hmm. uh, better i let the first three untouched because then it's overworked and uh, i destroy this wonderful piece of nature so we need a little shading at this fence as well. And now let's do a house here. A house with 100 windows. Nice song. Um, how, how big I should do this house? I think this size. This very, uh, very large house uh, in my, from my. Oh, let's do it in this size, because I need the the tree to be bigger. Let's see, this is one floor, one floor, two floors, uh, the part of the roof. Some steps in the front, so when the door is this height, let's see, yeah. Uh, There's a small roof for the entrance. Fill them up with dark black. So this window is about is divided into six parts. So it's a more expensive window. And now let's do three of them and then there will be a tree or something else uh, and the second floor so we have three floors okay do you know that they build three floors that's okay okay i didn't record it well what was the what was the last part please sorry for that Okay, sorry, I didn't uh, record this first, this house, this one, the drawing of this one. So I have to do another one, maybe here in the background. 
so that you see the process 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 how to draw it but before is it now recording yes i have to shade this a little bit so that we have a contrast here between the white of the house wall and these three behind it maybe a little bit more And another house, please. Let's see, it's here, one in the background. So a smaller one. And this time it's facing us, it's in front of us. Uh, yeah, it's the front side of the house. And then we have this such a roof. So in this case I will first draw the or do all the line work and then I do the shading. So overall you can see these are really easy easy buildings easy shapes and uh, only <clears throat> the interesting part of this is where to add the blacks the shadows and the value of the grays yeah, that's pretty much it one antenna like always in my drawings <clears throat> one smaller tree here in the background as well lamp up it's wet a uh, street lamp here so that there is no no reason to have fear in the night so there is a lamp for lightning okay so that we don't waste too much time you see uh, the the starting point of this uh, large format and I will do the rest and uh, nearly the rest and then we do a second part of this um, <clears throat> of this topic for this video a second part and but uh, for now I think it's okay and hope you enjoy it and we see us together in the next meeting okay bye in the next meeting in the next with in the next video okay bye